Well, thanks for joining me again. I thought I'd uh, just make one up today. You might be able to make out some just simple pencil guidelines I've put on the paper. So I'm just going to usually wet it all over as usual and just give me a bit of raw sienna. Just use clean water to start with. And maybe I'm just going to just try and throw a load of colour at it to start with, just see how it goes. This is a uh, alizarin crimson and raw sienna mixed together. I'll put that on a bit too dark really. I'll just give me a bit of tissue and this will uh, help. That's the axis clouds as well really. I'm going to go in with a darker colour now, ultramarine. In fact, glizzing crimson and ultramarine, see what that looks like. It's coming from the from the sides. Obviously one of the biggest problems of uh, starting off too dark is I've covered all the pencil lines now. A lot of them, I can't see where I'm going. Remember watercolours, you often, um, well, you sort of start light and work your way dark, whereas I think oils, they sort of do it the other way around. This I'm just uh, I'm just experimenting really as much as anything else. And a few dark clouds, a bit of burnt umber in switch, just get some dark colour. Bit of dark colour there. A few clouds and then a few back down the bottom. Just taking a tissue, just scuffing it up a little bit. And then what I might do, remember a few clouds reflected in any water that might be down the bottom. And then just taking a bit of everything really and I'm going to put in some distant hills. Uh, where should we start? Up there somewhere. Too much. In fact, what I might even do with that bit of lemon yellow into it all, and uh, I might just pull up, just give the impression of a few trees on that hillside. Same on the other one. Remember, not lifting vertically up, because otherwise they're going to be growing. Growing sideways. Remember, they're quite far away, so you don't want them too high. You just give it, just gives you that little profile. You see, like the little trees now on the top of the hill. And then once they're in, just leave them because you can guarantee if you go in and try and touch them up, you'll ruin it. So, again, I'm going to come down with another layer. Let's go down there somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to pull down reflection. I don't know if you're going to see this or not. Yeah, I might put a few more, a few more little trees up there. Again, we're still quite far away, so I don't want them too big. And remember, painting—it's all about layers. The more layers you get in, the deeper it is. The deeper your painting looks. So, I'll put another layer in. This one's going to come right down, something like that. And again, you pull down some reflections. And those trees, they're still, still trying to create that illusion of distance. I don't, still don't want these trees too big. Bush is getting quite dry now, so it's not coming off. Just dip the very tips into the water, just to loosen, loosen the paint, so it just comes off the brush a bit easier. And 
Now, down here somewhere. Bit of land mass now, I think. And a quick sweep. still quite far away I think what it need is something much closer so I'm just gonna choose a bit another colour let's just get a bit of light red say a bit of ultramarine light red and then this one we're just gonna go woof straight down straight down now imagine on a hill looking down now so Still looking down with a few little fence posts. A bit dark now, you can't really see these, but what I'll do, I'll highlight them. Let's put some cross pieces on. And in particular, uh, what I'll do, if I just pull this flat, I see how the paper's stretched, so I'm just going to pull it flat. I'm going to take the uh, piece, of, piece of card and then just pretend the sort of light's coming from there and it's just catching catching the edge of the uh, post there uh, and then just a bit on the top. The light's just catching the top of the posts. Something like that. You can always have a few little, few little rocks. Just flick up a few bits of bits of grass here and there. Just needs a bit of a bit of lighter colour, I think. Some little bits of tufts of grass just growing here and there. Big rock. It's a grass growing here in there. Um, what else could we do? We how about a, a bloke stood there staring, staring out. So he's got a bright red, bright red coat. Where should we put him? Out there. They are. Bright red coat. And then he's got um, blue, some blue trousers. And just sort of hands are sort of just leaning on the fence. Something like that. Don't forget his head. Somewhere on his back. Little backpack or something. Just a bit of, a bit of shadow or something down there. We always have a couple of birds. A couple of birds flying. All sorts of funny angles. I mean, don't forget, last but not least, pop your signature, not right in the corner because you'll never see it once it's framed, all the mounts on it. And that's just a quick, just a quick one made up, just to show you how easy. Once, once you learn how to do all the elements, you can make all sorts of weird and wonderful pictures. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask and I'll see you again soon.